What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Yayo. Welcome back to another episode of Yayo's Backyard. Today, we're going to be working on a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. Um, they having problems with their thermostat. Um, now, nothing's overheating. Nothing's doing that quite yet. But a check-in's light did pop on. We did do a diagnostics on it. And it's coming down to the thermostat not opening and closing correctly. So, we're going to want to replace that. We're going to clear the codes. And we're going to let it run, drive it around a little bit, see if um, that solves everything. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try to show you guys step-by-step -step process on how to replace it. It's quite easy. Most other videos are gonna tell you, oh, drain the radiator, take this off, take that off. No, you don't have to. All you have to do is loosen up the two bolts on the thermostat, hold out the hose, Bada bing, bada boom. Thermostat comes out. But let me go ahead and show you how to do it. And this is a quick, easy fix. This is all you need. A 10 mil, an 8 mil, and a possible extension just to get to the thermostat. Now, you may be wondering, well, how are you going to take this off? Easy. So first, lift this up. There's um, like clips they hold in here. It just pops right off. Boom, pop it off, put it to the side. You don't need that. Oh, that fell. Now, you may be wondering where the hell is the thermostat? Well, I'll show you. It's actually right there. Quite simple. Thermostat's right there. How do you get to that? You gotta take off four bolts just to get to it. And that is this intake right here. So pop this off. Now you can use a flathead. I personally use a eight mil, sometimes it's seven. It all depends on the manufacturers on these host clamps. You take one off right there, you take that one off. Boom, boom. These are 210. So I got an eight and a, oh, sorry, a 10 and an eight. So you just take those off. this off boom that comes up also before you take it off there is a sensor right here that you got to take off just a little clip on the side right there you just push it in and pull out by the bing by the boom take that off carefully take it out put it to the side now we can reach the thermostat. And it's literally right here. Oh, sorry. Again, not paying attention to my phone this time. It's right here. Now you can take off the housing. So pretty much you can grab some pliers, pinch that, move that, move it at the side. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just replacing the thermostat today. The housing still looks good. I'm gonna double check inside, make sure everything's all good. But, uh, you know, looks like it should be good. So, I'm gonna grab a bucket, put it under there, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to take that off. All right, folks, so there's two bolts you gotta take off on the thermostat. I already loosened them up. There's one, obviously, right there. That is a 10 mil, and there's one down there. Now, I already did loosen it up. You can tell it's a little wet, kind of squirted out a little bit. It's because it's pressurized. Now, you can either take out the radio cap and drain the radiator i didn't do that i mean i did pop the cap but you know and do that um or pretty much open that up loosen that a little bit now i do believe you can loosen this up so that way it does depressurize so you can take it off easily i believe you can do that now you're more welcome to try it i didn't i probably should have tested my theory but we can do that when we put it back on. So let's go ahead and loosen those two bolts up, which I already did. You can already hand loosen them. Or the bottom one you can. I don't know about the top. Loosen that up. Okay, I don't know. How long is this bolt? This bolt pretty long. Just 
still going. I'm still going. There we go. Boom. That's the bottom one. Focus. Focus. It won't focus right. There we go. That's the bottom one. Put that to the side. Don't lose those. And then this top one. And loose. You can already hit draining. I'm missing the bucket a little bit. Yeah, I'm missing the bucket a lot. <sighs> this is what happens. You got a small pan, boys. <sighs> gonna leak it's gonna leak like i said you can either drain the radiator and do it or just top off what you're missing see just top off what you're missing it's not that hard guys you ain't gotta do a whole bunch of extra steps so i'm not okay got that sucker off now here's the thing look at your housing what is it missing it's missing the gasket because half the time, 99% of the time, that gasket will stick on there. So all you gotta do is just hold this to the side. Uh, I'm trying to make sure this no fluid falls out of here. Push this over here. Nope. All right. Just make sure it's over the uh, pan. I'm trying to get it to where it won't leak. Oh, uh, there we go. Better. Just take that off. Right there, boom. See that? We're gonna replace it anyways. Came off. And there you go. And all you gotta do now is clean up the surface a little bit. Go grab the new thermostat. Put everything back together the way you took it off. So backwards. It's that simple, guys. You ain't gotta do a whole bunch of extra stuff of draining the radiator and stuff like that if you don't need a flush now it's smart to do it it really is but if you don't need a flush don't do it you know just do a quick little top off pretty much that's all you need so let's go ahead and grab the stuff and put everything back together i do apologize folks um you are gonna need some pliers uh, because um you have to replace this whole thing. The whole housing with the thermostat is connected. It's pretty much a one part. Uh, it's a one part, it's one part together. So you gotta replace that. So you can just take off that little clip, grab some pliers, it's easy to do it. Just pinch, pinch in those, pinch in that clamp, move it to the side, twist it off. You can't twist it off, grab a pick, break it from the seal, you take it off. So now I'm gonna run to AutoZone and go pick up the part. Be sure to clean your surface area. Look how clean that looks now, guys. Look at that. Wow, that's nice and clean. A little bit of WD-40. You can use brake clean, too. I didn't have any brake clean. A little knife. Oh, a little blade. Clean up as uh, much as you can. You want to use, uh, like, a plastic, like a plastic uh, uh, blade because you don't want to scratch it up, you know? Unfortunately, I didn't have a plastic one. A little small blade. Real careful, real careful. Cleaned it off with a towel, sharp tag, sharp brand. And now all I gotta do is put this in here, right there. Connect that in there, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Worldwide. All right, guys, we're done. We'll see you next episode. I did forget to show you guys to double check the temperature once you do top it off um i did forget to show you guys that i don't know oh, it's done everything's all good i did reset the check engine light and that's all said and done just drive it around make sure it's all good make sure the temperature is not ever gonna overheat and make sure that check engine light don't pop back on you guys have a happy new year's and let's get forward to looking to new videos in the future